You bastard! They just keep coming! Shut up and shoot! of life and death, sir. You've got to come and settle it. What is it? This, from Birdwood. Most serious, but if we are to re-embark, it must be done at once. Re-embark? Bearwood's generals want to abandon the Anzac position altogether. When did you get this? Thirty minutes ago. I've given the order for all boats to stand by to evacuate. Withdraw? It can be done. But it sticks in the craw. No. Oh, it does. Thursby. It'll take the best part of three days to get them all off. And where are the Turks? On top of them, sir. Well then, here we are. Two Lieutenant General Birdwood, Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. Your news is indeed serious, but there is nothing for you to do but dig right in and stick it out, eh, Braith? Absolutely, sir. It will take at least two days to re-embark you, which Admiral Thursby will explain to you. Down the coast, Hunter Weston, despite his heavy losses, will be advancing tomorrow, which should divert pressure from you. Make a personal appeal to your men and to Godlies to make a supreme effort to hold their ground. Signed, Ian Hamilton. P.S. You have got through the difficult business. And now all you have to do is dig, dig, dig. Until you are safe. So, gentlemen, not quite the reply we expected. He's right, of course. To go back is probably more dangerous than to go forward. So it's a fate of complete. Nothing more to be done. Except get this message somehow to the line. You must let the men know that there'll be no falling back. Dig, dig, dig until you are safe. Strange order from an OC. Hardly our business, Walker. I don't question the order, Bill. I simply note that it's... Off. Gentlemen, I remind you, time is running out. The Turks are well advanced. Utilize whatever communications we have. We must start entrenching. Yes, sir. Just for a moment. Keep your fingers under his jaw there. Yeah. Push his tongue up. That's good, son. Push hard. Keep his tongue forward or choke. That's good. Let's just choke up this place. You won't stop. Here. 
Day one. War is such a blasted business. The first blow is half the battle, sir. Don't forget that. Indeed. Hmm. Would you like a whiskey, sir? The first day was like a dream, full of loose ends and misunderstandings. Men who landed on the beach went up into the gullies and ravines of Gallipoli and were never seen again. I'd like to go home now. There'd been wars here before. I don't know what it was like for them. It didn't matter much. Tony! This was our war now. There'd be time to think about the ghosts later. Tony! I'm all right. I'm all right.
dug in on that hill in the dark. On that first day. It was as far as we ever got. <laughs>